What's up guys? I'm back with another video and I decided to talk about my Attar collection perfumes just because I feel like they deserve a separate video and you guys are really interested in that house so I thought you know I'm gonna review whatever perfumes I have and then I have a few samples here that I also want to talk about so yeah let's get started okay so this is a niche house that's based in dubai and as far as i know they're pretty new i think they were established only a few years ago so yeah also i have heard that there's a lot of clones from this house and it's it's actually true i have a few here which i'm gonna talk about later and yeah okay let's start with the first fragrance so i have crystal love for her and I know that they also have crystal love for him. I do not know what that smells like. But yeah, I have this feminine version and the packaging is absolutely gorgeous, you guys. I cannot stop talking about their packaging. It's just, it's beautiful. It's beautiful, especially for the price. I think it's amazing. And this is what the bottle looks like. It's very, very heavy. The quality is just over the top. The cap is very heavy. It's very nice and the fragrance of course is amazing also this is a gourmand and to me this smells like white chocolate with whipped cream on top that's sprinkled with sugar so it's very milky and creamy and very very sweet there's also rose in here so it's just like in the background the rose is not that prominent it's more sweet and milky and the rose is just kind of like picking sometimes and she's like hi i'm here but yeah i absolutely love the last in power with this is amazing it lasts i would say seven to eight hours but the projection is not the best and that's because only the fragrance itself is just very soft it's not loud for example like perfumes de marley delino or something like that it's just a soft fragrance but people will smell you and the projection is there it's just not crazy loud you know what i mean so yeah this is absolutely gorgeous absolutely feminine and if you're a gourmand lover you absolutely need this in your collection okay the next fragrance i have here is celtic night which translates as the night of love and it's a velvet box and it's so gorgeous it's just mm, i love it it's a blue bottle oh by the way i heard that there are fakes apparently and to test if you have a fake bottle you're just supposed to go like this and if it doesn't fall out then it's real fragrance but if it does apparently the fake one just falls out and yeah okay so this is an oriental cherry fragrance so this is in my opinion and like extra unisex okay so there's something in here that's making it unisex and i think it's probably the patchouli okay so in the opening it smells like uh, the most realistic cherry ever that i have smelled in a fragrance and it smells kind of sour and sweet but then once it starts drying down that cherry kind of vanishes and it becomes very very heavy with this with the cinnamon and the patchouli now i also feel like i smell leathery notes in here but uh according to the notes there is no leather in here but i don't know to be honest i feel like atar collection sometimes is hiding their notes so i feel like it's here but maybe it's just the patchouli that's giving me this weird vibe you know but there's lots and lots of cinnamon in here so if you love cinnamon you will like this but if you don't like cinnamon i i'm not sure if you will love this because like i said the cherry is here only in the opening and then i do not smell that cherry it just becomes very oriental very spicy and all I smell is the cherry and the patchouli in here. I know there is also red apple in here, but I do not smell that red apple. 
you guys, the last in power with this is just like beast mode. It's absolutely crazy. I would say it lasts for 10 hours, maybe even longer. But the projection is also insane with this. It's going to leave a huge trail. People will smell you. It, it's absolutely insane. I have talked about this fragrance many times in my videos. And I have mentioned that my husband loves wearing this. And every time he wears this, I can smell this throughout the whole house. And God forbid I get this on my carpet or on the floor. And it smells for like a week. It's just insane. And for the price, this is, I think, around $150. I think the quality is absolutely insane. And it's absolutely worth the price. And I'm actually surprised. In my opinion, it's cheap for this type of quality, for this type of fragrance. And I'm actually surprised that it's only $150. So yeah, if you like an oriental cherry, you'll love this. By the way, this is nothing like Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. This is not La Petite Robe Noir from Guerlain. This is completely different. I haven't smelled anything similar to this. So yeah. Okay, next one. A lot of people love this one. This is called Hayari, and as far as I know, it translates as life. So yeah, this is also a velvet box. It's red and gold. It's absolutely gorgeous. This is also a gourmand, and I talk about this fragrance all the time in my videos. There's lots and lots of raspberry in here. Raspberry, whipped cream, and ice cream. So I'm going to put all of the notes in here as always because I don't remember all of them. But to me, this smells like a raspberry ice cream, raspberry sherbet, or a raspberry hookah. Not the tobacco from the hookah, but the actual smoke of the hookah. So if you know what raspberry hookah smells like, in my opinion, this is it. Also, this kind of smells like a raspberry bubble gum. If you're from Europe and you know the bubble gum that's called love is this is what it reminds me of it reminds me of the i think it's strawberry banana flavor and yeah it reminds me of that bubble gum but i think it's absolutely amazing this is very very yummy very <laughs> tasty <laughs> the last in power is is good it's good uh and the projection is also good but not for a long time so this is not like Celt at night where it's going to leave a huge trail and, you know, people will follow you everywhere. Probably not. I don't know. I did not overspray this. I usually do like two to three sprays with this. And because I feel like if I would spray more, it's going to suffocate me. Like it's going to be strong. So, yeah, it's so, so good. It's so, so yummy. Oh, yeah. By the way, you know what I noticed with raspberry notes that... Usually when I look for a raspberry fragrance, there will be a raspberry note in there, but it's not that prominent and I usually will not smell it in here. That's all that you will smell. You will smell the raspberry in here for sure. Raspberry, whipped cream, kind of like milky. And yeah, it smells like a raspberry ice cream. I absolutely love this. Again, for Gourmand lovers, you do need this one. <laughs> Okay, and then I have a few samples here. Now, you guys, there are definitely dupes in here, cones, whatever you want to name it. Um, and it's absolutely insane because these fragrances are like exact dupes of like very popular fragrances, okay? So I want to talk about... Where is it? Okay, I want to talk about the Queen of Sheba first. And I'm going to put a bottle here so we can see what it looks like. You guys, this is a clone of Good Girl Gone Bad from Killian. It's just, it's insane. It smells exactly the same. I don't want to like get this on my bed, so. Okay. This is insane. This is absolutely insane. It smells, it smells exactly like Good Girl Gone Bad from Killian. But in the opening, it, I would say it's a little spicier. Yeah, it's kind of spicy in the opening, but in the dry down, it smells exactly the same because I have good girl gone bad 
and I compare them side by side. I sprayed one here and then one here and it smelled exactly the same. The dry down is exactly the same. So if you want that good girl gone bad perfume from Killian, but I know it's expensive, I think that you should try this, the Queen of Sheba, because it smells exactly the same in my opinion. And I believe it's around $150, where Killian is around $250. So yeah, and I like their bottle more. I think it's prettier. So yeah, if you really like that perfume from Killian, I think you should really try this. Okay, next one, another dupe. You guys, this is called Azalea. And when I smelled this, I was like, this smells really familiar. And I couldn't remember what it was. And then I was like, wait, this smells like Black Orchid from Tom Ford. And I was like, wow, like it smells exactly the same. And I'm not sure how much Black Orchid is, but I think it would be cheaper than the Atar one. Um, the, uh, again, Atar collection fragrances are around $150, so I would say that this would be a more expensive dupe, but it smells exactly like Black Orchid from Tom Ford. And I do not like that fragrance, so this one is also a pass for me. And yeah. Okay, another one. This is also a clone, okay? This is called El Raihan. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. But this is a clone of Balda Freak by Byretto. And I have a sample of Balda Freak. And you guys, I would have to agree. It is a clone. I like Balda Freak. Um... And I believe it's also what, like $250 or $300 for that one. And this one is $150 again. So if you like that fragrance, I would go with this. Again, if you don't want to splurge on Byretto. And I honestly feel like the Last in Power is better with the Attire one than Balda Freak. I feel like Byretto doesn't really last for a long time. And I feel like the projection is also not the best with that one but here it's really good it smells citrusy and kind of soapy in my opinion I think it's perfect for summertime just because it's very very fresh and yeah it's citrus and soap that's what I smell in here I think it's beautiful it's very nice and it's very refreshing for summertime okay next one azora i do not remember what that one smells like i think this is also citrusy and fresh oh yeah this is very citrusy fruity and citrusy and very very fresh this is nice and it reminds me of some ford fragrances the ones that come in like the blue and green bottles like the i don't know what they're called um like their fresh summer collection whatever it is this is what it reminds me of. Very nice. Wow. It's very nice. I know that this is also popular from this house. Perfect for summertime. And I love it. I absolutely love it. Okay, and then I have the last fragrance here. And this is called Rosa Galore. Okay, you guys, with this one, you know what? The first time when I smelled this, I also thought that I have smelled this somewhere before. And I did, and I'm gonna tell you what this smells like. By the way, I actually compared the notes with the other fragrance, and the notes were like basically the same, but they were just switched around. Like whatever was at the top notes was put in the middle notes, and I don't know if that's actually true. I feel like they just put that on Fragrantica just, just so it, doesn't look like it's the same fragrance, you know what I mean? But this is what's interesting with this. So I have checked the notes a while ago when I got this. And then I decided to make this video and, you know, and I went on Fragrantica and I decided to check the notes again. And the notes were changed for Rosa Galore, like completely, completely. They put caramel in there and there's a lot of rose in there and it's just... I don't know, it was just like a bunch of other stuff. 
and I don't know what to believe anymore to be honest because to me this smells like J'adore Dior you guys when I smelled this I was like okay this smells like something from the past and I couldn't remember what it was and then I was like wait a second this smells like J'adore Dior and I checked out the notes and the notes were pretty much the same like I said they were just mixed around but now they change them I don't know why I don't know why they're doing that so in my opinion this is a clone of J'adore Dior I can smell the rose in here but again it smells different on the paper when I spray this on my skin I really smelled that J'adore Dior it was kind of like fresh sour I don't like that fragrance my I remember my mom used to have it back in the 90s and I used to like it but I do not like it anymore I don't know why they would decide to hide the notes I thought it was strange but yeah there are lots of clones uh, from this house and I'm actually surprised to be honest because they have their own fragrances their own scents that are very unique I don't understand why would they want to copy other popular fragrances Kind of disappointing i mean there's nothing bad with clones or anything like that but i feel like when you have already your own name your own packaging that's absolutely beautiful that looks very unique and you know it's it's different it's different and there's the quality is there why would you want to copy other fragrances you know what i mean but yeah again there are fragrances in here that are clones and good dupes like i said if you don't want to splurge on um the actual fragrance that's more expensive you can definitely get it from the atar collection i absolutely love this house i think they're amazing and i think that you should definitely try out their fragrances and yeah i'm gonna link their website down below so yeah thank you so much for watching this video and please leave a comment down below let me know what you think and yeah thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next one bye